guys and welcome to another deep conversation with your girl Sean. I hope you are doing well on today. Happy hump day. It's Wednesday, y'all. We are halfway down the work week. So you know what it is. We finna get to get into these Scots real quick. But before we get too deep in our conversation, you guys already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. But most importantly, you guys, like the video. Why y'all ain't watching and liking my video? What, what y'all doing? Like the video, friends. What? I thought we was friends. So we already know that it was brought out yesterday that the Scots 1.0, Marceau and Tisha are going through a lawsuit battle. But the Scots was the one who actually went to court first to file a lawsuit and let me fix some things up because i am all about giving credit where credit is due and i definitely want to give a shout out to really be talk because she was actually the one who gave the information out first so shout out to really be talk for dropping the news and giving us the detailed tea so here we are now and more details are coming out the docs are being pulled and you know what the scots are at a point to where they're being counter sued for five million and some change dollars and scots do y'all have this kind of money what in the whole entire world so we know that the scots went down and did the initial filing for 800 some thousand dollars for zen gardens and for um eva banks which is the person who holds the mortgage well of course in true fashion y'all just not feeling good to sue me and think it's going to be okay i'm going to counter sue you guys and they're counter suing for fraud misrepresentation and they're also um suing for neglect and with all of that being said zen gardens and eva banks are saying no you guys did not do what we asked you to do you guys were not having the correct people on site and not only that we're going to file a suit in our counter suit for unclean hands and i want to look that up and unclean hands mean that you have immoral or corrupt conduct so pretty much you know it's one thing to say you misrepresented your fraud and you neglected but not only that not only did you have those things i'm gonna add on the fact that you have unclean hands which is a real thing look it up you guys which means that you are immoral and you have corrupt conduct you handle yourself badly and all of that can fall up under fraud because i can say you fraudulent but now what because fraudulent is a grand word you know it's a vague word break down how i'm fraudulent you know break down how i misrepresented you guys and guess what zen gardens and eva banks are doing just that and they threw it out there and say yeah mm -mm y'all corrupt so and now they're counter suing because on yesterday the amount was not listed or given anyway as to what they was counter suing for well and it came out in the docs show that they are literally counter suing for five point something million dollars so martel let me know friend are you really wanting to buy back into sculpt because that's what you was doing at the beginning of the season you was going to marceau you were having the conversation marceau said he needs to talk to tisha about it we see that in the upcoming episodes that tisha is going to talk to martel and tell martel that you know i can't trust you and she's really basing all of this off a um emotional situation not a business set and i'm not mad at her because y'all are friends and it can get dirty but at the end of the day it's business right so leave the personal out and make this a business situation only did he wrong you in business and although we cannot stand martel on a personal side but in the construction side of things with him and mel did they wrong you to the point that you don't want to do business with him anymore and i think we can go out on the limb and say the answer is no i don't think that mel and martel wronged you business wise that you were able 
and can't get past certain things he did or said. You know, you know, he didn't steal money from you guys. He didn't take business from you guys. He wasn't doing underhanded schemes on you guys. So I feel like stuff like that is a reason to say, boy, I ain't messing with you no more in business because you screwed us over. But that's not y'all testament. Y'all biggest issue is, or more so Tisha than anything, well, you said my husband had 20 men, 20 women. That's what you said. And I don't know if I can trust you. That's not a reason not to deal with him on a business side. And Martell, I hope that you did not get back. Because you already got your own set of problems anyway. Don't get back in the bed with the Scots. Because they have a five point whatever million dollar lawsuit. Guess what? Hanging over their head. And I hope this is all for storyline. I hope this is all for, you know, I need something to talk about on Martell end because the Scots do not need, the, the Scott, excuse me, can't handle this right now. And you don't want to be roped into something that you had absolutely nothing to do with. Buy out, leave them where they at and move on. Scott's five point whatever million dollars. Do you have five million dollars? Because the people said, ah, 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 we're not going down without a fight. And let me tell you how Zen Gardens and Eva Banks are going and they're ready for the fight. And they ready for it worth $5 million of a fight. All right, you guys, y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Is this going to really go through? How it's going to play out? Have the Scots wrote a check that they but literally cannot cash, okay? The Zen people are saying, don't play me. Because while you're playing with me, you better go play with your mama, you know. Maybe I went too far. All right, you guys. That's all I got. Y'all drop that in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think about this $5 million countersuit that they are throwing at them Scots. Scots, y'all going to have to do more than use them bulldozers on your mountaintop to build this house to get up out this mess all right you guys i'll see you guys and i'll talk to you guys in the next video